All right, so we're gonna work on this motor today. So um, in case you haven't watched some of the other videos, bought this, paid $600, motor's bad. Got this motor for $150 at the old LKQ. So a few things I wanna do before I get ready. I'm still waiting on some other parts, mostly for the transmission. I'll talk about that in a little bit. But what I need to do is I wanna take out this water pump and swap it. So the old motor, right before they blew, it actually, they put a brand new water pump on it and definitely don't want this to go to waste. Brand spanking new, so that's the way to go. But what I did was, just as a preventative maintenance, I ordered a new seal for this. So, um, got that on the old Rock Auto. Got the visit from the Rock Auto and got ourselves a rear main seal. Uh, this is for the uh, bypass for the water outlet, I'll show that. Water pump, actually got new intake seals. Mine are still good, but while I'm here, why not? And I'm also gonna change this uh, crankcase vent seal, which is right over here, because these are areas that I don't wanna go back into like anytime ever soon, especially this one, considering you gotta take the intake and everything out of it. So I figured I might as well go ahead and change it. Probably wouldn't hurt to change the O-rings for the fuel injectors, but I've never really ever had them leak. I've never had issues with the uh, O-rings for fuel injectors. So crossing my fingers, I won't regret making that decision, but I definitely want to change this because I've actually had these leak prematurely on these Fords, especially with water pumps. Rear main seal is one of those things that you don't want to have to drop an engine transmission to do. So, um, Also got myself a brand new thermostat, Ford OEM, we'll talk about that in just a sec. So uh, let's get started on this. So these are going to be two 8mm bolts, I'm going to pop this out and get to going. So this seal is actually swelled up pretty good, probably from the mileage, but yeah, probably good that we're changing this and going a different route. What I'm going to do is take a scotch pad over here. This is really not aggressive, and this will just kind of clean this up just to make sure our new seal fits nice. All right, so next is this thermostat. We've got three eight millimeters. Probably still good. I'll just keep it as a spare just to have, but cheap, easy insurance. Kind of the same thing over here. Take the scotch pad and just clean up the surface. All right, for the thermostat, OEM. I think it was like 30 bucks on Rock Auto. OEM, that's what you need to use on these modern electronical engines. Anything else will create issues. I ran into that. So, oh yeah, when it comes to this, this is one thing I don't vary or try to upgrade. Just regular thermostat. I'm gonna start these bolts by hand. Snug them down with this. So this gasket is actually still pretty good. I'll just keep it around just in case. It's good to keep extra parts. But 
definitely using the brand new water pump. Feels good, no movement in the shaft. Actually, there was actually some slight movement in that other shaft, so that may have been the beginning stages of failure. Just slide this on. Carefully as I can. There we go. Okay. Suggestion I make with these, a little silicone paste around the o-ring will help that slide in and reduce the chances of it rolling. Just got like a little dab on the finger. I'm just gonna put a light coat. Don't use any oil, petroleum based products, no silicone, none of that. Just a little dab of this. Silicone spray also works really good. All right, time for this crankcase. So I think what I'm gonna do first is take out these hoses. Hopefully they decide to cooperate with me. This hook is your best friend. Definitely recommend it. Now, it's good in the sense that it'll help get into there and kind of break it from the bond over here. But if you're not careful, this will actually poke through. So, caution when using it. So now these are all eights. All right, this is the PCV, pretty much. Probably should have changed this. And that might be something to consider. So let me take a look at it. All right, tinkering around with this off camera. It does move freely, so it doesn't seem to have issues. It does create a seal, which I went ahead and applied air pressure to it. So I'm just gonna leave it alone. Ideally, this would have been perfect to change, but can't get them local. They're back ordered. And this project's getting delayed enough. So. Yep, that's the way it kind of works. It is good that I am changing this gasket because I kind of see where it might have had a leak right up around here. And on these Fords, I've seen these happen a lot where these leak. You just get like some type of mysterious oil leak thinking it's the rear main or the valve cover and it's actually just this gasket just kind of leaking the blow by. Yeah, the gasket has a lot of flat spots. Let's just see if we can get that right there. So yeah, I've cleaned all this, but looking back at it, it was a little oily over here. Just looking at some other footage I had of this. So it is definitely good that I am changing this gasket. I just wish I could have changed this. Just more preventive because this is definitely one job you don't want to go back in and do. So I'm just going to clean all this up. Clean that up in here. And then we'll put this back together. So just kind of stuff this right over here. I'm going to spray this down. Kind of get off this grind. Clean this up. Scotch pad to the rescue.
Can't find the torque spec on these, so I'm just gonna snug them down. Just use a little common sense to make sure I don't over tighten them. All right, this water pipe has a rubber O-ring. Once again, more eight millimeters. Let's take this off. came off pretty easy this just peels right off just like so eh, this one's a little crusty and hard so probably good we replace that wipe this off give this a little sanding scotch pad just to clean it off make sure my surfaces are smooth Clean off this side right over here. Oh yeah. This is actually a good time to pay attention. If you had a leak from over here, that's that uh, high pressure fuel pump. It goes to the cam. If there's a leak, you see this all wet, you might want to either consider your valve cover gasket or what's going on over here. There's actually a little gasket for it in there. All right, so new gasket. Let's match that up. Nice and puffy. Same thing, couldn't find the torque spec on this. Maybe need to buy the book, couldn't even find that, but just common sense, this is aluminum. All right, rear main seal. All right, so if you're gonna take this off, make sure you have no oil in your engine or everything's gonna dump out. This has no oil, so we're good there. All right, no evidence of any leaks, but this is good preventative maintenance. This is one job I don't want to come in and do again. Got a new one from Felpro and should be good. Um, this was getting a little hard and crusty, but eh, why not? We're here. Now, if you can see, there actually is some RTV right over here. We'll actually have to put a little bead of RTV right over there. All right, so it's nice and clean. I did find something I noticed, and I think it was probably from the casting, but there was actually a little burr right here with a little high spot. I went ahead and just sanded it down lightly with some emery cloth to smooth it. It has a little divot in it, so I think what I'm going to do is just put a little dab of RTV right over there, and that should be fine. What I'm going to do is put dab right over here along the slip, mostly around these edges where they meet. Is that what they call? Ford uses some special RTV. I'm using Ultra Black. I've actually used this. Actually, almost as good as Honda Bond. If I had Honda Bond, I'd be using Honda Bond on this all day long. But that stuff's expensive, and I ain't got any, so. Just gonna try to. The whole point is, is I just want to fill this in. Make sure that's not a weak spot. I think that should be fine. I just want to put a little dab right over here. It's probably a lot more than I should, but just enough.
Bell Pro seal. It's pretty cool that it actually has the thing to keep the seal intact and slide it in better. So, make sure I got my screws over there. Let's see how this thing goes. So, I want to say it goes like that. It just slides over. All right, so that's in. That should hopefully be good, and hopefully we should have no issues with that. It's good preventative maintenance. It wasn't leaking, but then again, better to be safe than sorry, and I've had that happen way too many times. So that should be good on that one. The black RTV, I think they call for like T30 or something like that Ford uses. Um, I've used uh, RTV black. I've used that instead of um, Honda Bond. And it works great and by the time i put this engine in this is all going to be cured up so just a nice small little bead on the lip it should be fine on that and if for some reason that does leak the oil pan comes off real easy on this car so i could reapply that if need be um anything else i'm going to do is probably just put this uh pulley on but just very simple it's just these 10 millimeter bolts put that in and that's pretty much it for this engine um i'm going to be putting it back in the car just like this i don't want to put the alternator or any other accessories on because uh, it's a lot easier just to finagle it the intake I did get new gaskets for it But I'll put that in once it's back in the car. It's pretty simple And what's kind of holding me up is this transmission as I'm waiting for the seal and I talked about that in another video the seal is uh, leaking over here, so Ford has a redesigned seal it's brown instead of black and that should hopefully fix that issue and then i got to order the tools so i could pop out that clutch reset it put it in put the new seals and we should be good to go so thanks for watching and uh stay tuned and we'll see where we keep going with this engine swap <laughs>